Okay, boys and girls. Who here? Well, obviously you, because you are checking in on this video, or you have clicked on it, wants to make their normal OSB Ford F-150 and Bronco and... Let's see, let's go through all the years on that one. 92 through 96 on the F-150 and Ford Bronco. And 96 through... Uh, oh, excuse me, 97 F-250 HD, and I believe 98 as well, and then 96, 7, and 8 F-350s, 450s, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, the ones that have this in instrument cluster, who wants to go and take it to where, or make it to where their, uh, their greens, yeah, let's turn that down so I don't blind the camera or anyone there, take their greens, Turn them into this. So this one here did that whole YouTube thing where you know, oh yeah, we take it apart and uh, we got to scrape it and this and this and this and blah 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 blah. Yeah, we're gonna go through a quick thing here. Oh yeah, and this one here also as well, it gotten scraped. So as you can see, actually more like rub with brake parts cleaner on the back and then use the sharpie if i needed it to fill in other spots because i'm a mexican i do that ole and no sharpies um jump through a quick thing here so you already know you're going to need if you've gotten to this point you're going to need a flat tip screwdriver to get your instrument cluster off along with a seven millimeter uh socket extension little ratchet whatever they have other videos on youtube to get that out for you so not going to really jump through all that to get the screws out of here you're going to use a 7 30 seconds um and i do believe let's see there was one two three four five six seven of those but if you're going to get the plastic itself off then there's nine um simple simple stuff this guy here we use this guy here to get the needles off it's pretty simple just work behind the needle and work your way up massage it up pop it out it's not bad people have done a spoon trick i've heard of never seen it heard of it haven't tried it um you can take a pencil if need be when you're laying it down like this i put marks on here there's one here and one there and basically what those are is which way the uh the needle was pointing so you know, put into reference of where they were when this was laying like this. Some of these do come un, un, unglued. As you can see, there's where the glue points are at all around it. They use a really soft, not strong glue, which, hey, whatever works, go for it. But they come loose. This one was loose. This one was okay. This one stayed pretty good. You've got these little uh, bumps that go here inside the um they're the needles needle bumps so one's there one's there just pull right out basically what the needles are what the needle is resting on right there those little black things right there i hate doing it this way guys i really do i'm not a fan but yeah those little black things they just come right out there just grab them with your fingers pull them out no big deal now We've jumped through all that. I was making a video beforehand, realized that, yeah, totally screwed that one up, figured it out. And it actually works out pretty good. So, I started taking this guy. And started going on here, looking around and everything. I was like, well, I wonder what would work. And you know, I've been messing around with it, messing around with it. And I had found that if you take a Dremel and you have the dental extension, and you take this guy here. Now, if you look, you'll see a little bit of green tinge on that. You can see the green. And anyways, and I found that if you put it on the lowest speed possible, right? Put on the lowest speed possible. You can make all this go from like that to that. There, like that. Don't want to blind you guys or nothing, but... So basically what we do is we you know, show you, set that there. I have it on speed 
one. The lowest minimal speed. Like I said, a really fine brush. You know, little teeny tiny guys. You can find these at the hardware store uh, where they have Dremel stuff for sale. And you want to be gentle with it. You're not going to sit there and just stay on it and stay on it and stay on it until it's all, you know, cleaned off and burning through. You're just going to barely go across it. And I'll show you. Or at least I'll make the attempt to show you. Like I said, it's very low. It's not all high and whiny and everything like that. So. And you also need a flashlight. Are you going to blind you guys? No, we're not going to blind you guys. Right. So basically, let's start over here. Right. Alright, let me shut this off real quick. Off, damn you, off. So we went on that one. Pretty cool, huh? Who knew? A Dremel. Low speed. So, let's see how fast we can get this one to go. Because I know this one over here, just these two little bits, took me... Oh, hell. 25 minutes? Let's see how fast this one's going to go. Now, granted, I really wish that it wouldn't make as much damn noise, but I'm trying to keep it out of the way. As well, I'm also going to be doing these, the telemeter ones. Now, you don't have to if you don't want to, but the plastic is already a certain color. So, like, this is already blue. If you need to get into places, you can, you know, if you don't want to do the blue... You really don't have to. If you don't want to. So, how'd that turn out? Not bad. Not bad. Let's try the zero. How's that going to work on the zero? And worst comes to worst, you can also, because these were dual-sided painted, so they painted this here. Let me shut this off real fast, give you a quick explanation how Ford did this back in the day. So you have your green underneath, and then you have this white overlayment on it. It's almost, if you get close to it, you'll see that it's almost 